presents a straight no chaser. Well, we don't take no shit. If you want to participate in this role, you have to follow the simple rules. The rules are simple. Respect everyone's opinion. Allow everyone to speak. Be respectful. Engage. And get your fucking point across. If you want to follow the club, click the greenhouse at the top. Any of the mods that you like, please follow the mods. They will follow you back. If you follow those rules, we will get along just fine. If not, we will go the fuck out of you. Welcome to Straight No Chaser. banks, hospitals, or aircrafts, whatever you want it, we can do it. And so how do you stop that people from ruling over you? Because that's eventually what happens. That's how, and I'm giving you their, their lens is that if they can do this inside of 30, 40 years, imagine if they got 60 years, if they got 100 years. So when Kanye makes the statements that he makes, the reason why he's getting attacked and why it's being switched to violence is because if we ever come out of economic slavery, or the mentality that we got to spend money with everybody else and not our own, or we could spend money with everybody else as we're spending with our own, we'll dominate. So mm -hmm. the goal now is how do we shut that down? Because Kanye became a billionaire, so if he can do it, nobody else don't, you don't got to think I'm a, I got to be a billionaire too, but you can, all, you can be a millionaire, you can be whatever it is that you want to be. That's what Kanye represents. And he wants to show people how to do it. That's the threat right there. Are you yeah, um, I, 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 wait, I wanted part, to say something. Part. Hold on, hold on. I wanted One to say second. Let me say this. All y'all that did not fuck with Ye. I know Ye done said mm -hmm. some shit that the rub people don't know that. He says I don't agree with. But I'm going to tell y'all this right now. What you need to respect that man at is not only did he say what will happen, he sacrificed himself to prove the shit so we know why he was saying what he was saying and now we really know why we need to yeah. I'm like I feel like platform where we won't get clipped a platform where we could group up as our people, and we can discuss things where we won't get clipped. It don't got to be nothing where we against nobody. It don't got to be no evil shit. It don't got to be no violent shit. Mm -hmm. Just where we educating ourselves, and it's not going to be a problem where we won't get clipped, and this won't be because we need a safe platform for us. Because there's a lot of people that's in the dark that need to wake up right now. Like you understand what I'm saying? And it, and the only way shit is going to change is if we are woke. If people start waking up and understanding what we are, like we're the chosen ones. We're at the bottom. We're supposed to be at the top. This is what we need to sink into people's brains. People have to understand their worth. A lot of people do not understand their worth. You have to understand where our mentality is at. They have drained us. They have us at the bottom of the fucking barrel. So we got to understand that we need a platform where we could be able to speak safely, educate our people, wake them up, and make them understand that we need to unify, whether we want to or not. We have to stick together, whether we want to or not. We at a point where this shit don't even matter if we want to do it no more. It don't even matter if we like each other. We got to wake the fuck up. So, and it's a whole corrupted side going on with gang violence, black on black crime. We know what's going on. We need to be woke. So people like you, whack, like whether you need to make a new app for just us, however the fuck this shit needs to be created, but we need to come together. You understand what I'm saying? The powerful forces at least need to take charge on that note. That's how I feel the Real. first step. 100. That's real. That's real. 100. Yep. Go ahead on. She, she just said it. Y'all y'all already making progress. Rooms like y'all's that actually talk about these topics and put them on the table is where the start at because the elites control the communication. You saw what happened with Twitter and Facebook. So you guys are hitting it right on the head. But here's the issue. It's not about solely the money. It's not just about the competition with them. They have the power. And that's what Kanye was speaking on. It's not about just the money. It's about the community. It's about our religion. It's about our morals. It's about the crime aspect. We need to get our people on board. But y'all doing the work. So keep on going. Well, if I could, you know what I'm saying? We already got a platform like that. You know what I'm saying? The problem is people not people not utilizing that platform. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but if I could, I want to speak to what Captain Zarya was saying. Um, and, and this is something that's important. We do have to realize. Well, slow down, you, brother. Can you tell us what that platform is? You can't say that and then don't enlighten us. Give us direction on where to go, my brother. Well, yeah, that platform, the platform. Yeah, that platform called the ISUBK. You know, we've been doing this for over half a century. But the problem is, 
Is that, what is that? Is that a site, a website? What is that? An app? Is it like, whack. He talk, whack. He talk about the organization I'm in. Oh, That's yeah. Okay. What she was yeah. talking about is she the, social about the social media social networks media. and stuff like that, like how they had banned Kanye and, and banned us. And we go to, if like your cap, go to speaking his truth. And they say, oh, we ain't going to let you say that and restrict your account. That's what she was referring to. Okay, okay. Thank you, Wack. Fan base. We got one called fan base. Got, and, and look, no disrespect. I stopped you because I, I didn't I didn't know where you was going with it. And it looked like you you heard something different from her. So now you understand what she is saying. So what you're saying is just simple. You talking about the groundwork. Right. Well talking? I'm also talking about like that that you remember we had that we had something back in the day called like the grapevine or something like that. Like we need uh, like like honestly, man, she need like she was saying we definitely do need a platform where we can always yeah. communicate. That way we won't be restricted. Exactly, exactly. Cap, cap, bro, bro. They restricted the minister. <laughs> hey, hey, Wack, didn't they buy that? Didn't they, they take, what, um, didn't they kill Paracon off Instagram or Twitter? One of Same people that silenced Trump is the same people that silenced you know? Farrakhan. Real shit. Yeah, so, um, well, yeah, 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 so, you know. We, Farrakhan, bro. <laughs> you know, if they can cut Farrakhan off, they telling you, man, fuck y'all. We do what we want. Be quiet. Hey, and they, and they didn't cut Farrakhan off until he started talking about government shit. He'd yeah. been talking about the Jews, but when he started going and up the ladder about... It's not a threat about... physically. It's educating yeah. us to where our mentality might change. Right. Hey, bro, that's why they're using that violent term. I know. That broke cap. I know. Off. They right. throwing that shit in there right. to try to Keep it away from what it really is. Exactly. The post up mm -hmm. fam, I laughed, man. I laughed because I was like, I saw the White Lives Matter shirt first. I knew he was baiting them niggas. He was baiting them in. He put the White Lives Matter. He knew we didn't give a fuck about no White Lives Matter. He just wanted to show them what happened if he wear a Black Lives Matter. They see that shirt. Don't nobody give a fuck. They see that White Lives Matter. I mean, everybody, this nigga on Fox News, all the racist white people that pulled them out. They loving on them and everything. Then the next day, he talking about he going DefCon on there. Then. <laughs> And then, so I'm laughing the whole way because I'm seeing the play. He, he didn't, he didn't, he know our anger don't really affect his business sale. Black people anger don't affect him. He won't, he won't, he wanted our attention. He wanted us to bro. Be when he said racism, uh, 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 slavery was a choice, right? Yeah. Bro, you think that wasn't offensive to people? But they didn't <laughs> give no fucks. It was no punishment for that. I think it would, but it was it was kind of a choice at the, at the same time. Some people, <laughs> some people like house niggas, bro. Not house true. niggas. Nah, but I'm saying it was no punishment. They didn't say. Nobody didn't lose anything. He didn't lose nothing. Yeah. 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 was taken from them from their families and the people who were born into slavery. They had a choice, is what you're saying? No, 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 no. I'm not. I don't agree with the. I don't agree with the statement. I'm saying when he made that statement. They didn't treat that like they treated Def right. Con Free. Yeah, right. basically so what he's saying is right. you can you can slander the black man all day and won't shit happen to you. Won't fuck, happen to you. fuck a nigga, kill a nigga, you know, destroy niggas. That ain't nothing gonna happen. Quick. But right. if you say that's a nigga, let me finish. Kinda... Like one that. mic, one mic. I'm crazy. I get more to that, but I know y'all think I'm crazy after what I just said. But can I <laughs> no, jump no, in no, real no, quick? Because y'all y'all you you said something, but but then derailed. The guy that said the white lives matter. What it is is that he wore the White Lives Matter, and the White Lives Matter will fall on the Republican side. The Republican mm -hmm. side got problems with the Jews. That's why Donald Trump ran for president. <laughs> so here's the issue. Here's the this issue. Listen to what I'm saying. with politics. Listen, <laughs> it is. It is because politics would would include the economy and the people that control the music industry to. and other shit, like Amazon and all these other people that made money during the pandemic but shut down fucking small businesses. So here we go. When he wore the White Lives Matter shit, he was siding with the Republicans. The problem is, is that people loop the Republicans in with the Jews. The Jews is a problem for the Republicans because the Jews have power. So the rich Republicans have an issue as well. So when he wore that shirt, it's not like he wore that shirt and he got love from the white Republicans, as you said, per se. He's embracing Great. the side that's trying. He's embracing the side that's fighting against the people that are fucking holding us down. They got problems with these fucking people too. That's why Trump ran for president. He was three hundred million in commercial real estate. You don't think commercial real estate got politics in it? And he don't have problems with Jewish people. Man, Do you have anything to bag that up, that argument up, sir? Hell, no, nah, he don't. 
I'm gonna give him that. Hey, look, and on the floor, look on this floor. This is uh, uh, educational slash debate slash you know little argumentative floor. So if somebody says some shit, I ask a question that you may not you agree with, either respond or somebody else respond, but do not drop anybody. And if a female's voice is chiming in. Fellas, let's be gentlemen and let's let's give them the red carpet. Let's keep oh, it going. Him. Okay, maybe. Let me finish what I was saying if I could. Yo. Say your name, um, please. Say your name. This is the bar, man. UPK. Um, if I could, I just want to uh, expound on what Captain Desire was saying about that whole uh, that whole situation with us actually getting power and where that could actually head to. Like, of course, we all talking about everything we saying right now, but imagine when we actually stop calling them Jews. Imagine when we call ourselves the Jews, stop calling them Jews, get some economic power. Of course, you know what they're going to do. It's always going to get down to violence anyway. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, but we don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. Hey, but look, I but, am not mad at the Jewish community for making the power moves they yeah. made in business, bro. Actually, yeah, I appreciate it because now we kind of got uh, a sort of blueprint to... Exactly. So we can compare what we doing right, and I'm not doing. You know what I'm saying, bro? They yeah, not nah, kind of seeing. Sure, but I'm not, I'm not making it personal. What I'm saying is, we did this already, and when we did it, they bombed us. We did it in Black Wall, like Black Wall Street cities, like yeah. That. It's time to do we it again, bombed. though, bro. Yeah, if at first point. you don't succeed, you fucking that's try and try point. again. That's hey, the point. If, if I may, guys, if if I may, this nest from um Hood College. Go ahead, what, what brother. Okay, E.I.K. Let him land. Let the other brother land. That was right, but what I'm saying is now, if we do it again, what what was the thing that stopped the what was the thing that stopped us the first time? Yep. Something that we gonna Take have to control. And set five. You know what I'm a total different time, brother. You talking about Black Wall Street days and all that? Yeah. It was a total different time, Come brother. You know what I mean? We still we still up against it, but we ain't that up against mm -hmm. it as they were. And I commend them brothers for even being able to position themselves the way that they did position themselves. But it's a it's a it's a different day and age. Uh, the odds not saying it can't happen because we as a people have done it to them. But the odds of motherfucker coming down, burning down our motherfucking city with us sitting there, we ain't in fear or intimidated no more. That's out. Ain't happening. Because I'm gonna tell you, to every square citizen, you know what he got? He got a crazy ass nephew or little brother or brother or something that ain't too far away. You know what he got? And a bunch of motherfuckers just like him. Well, you are not going to Watts. You are not going to Compton. You are not going to fucking Harlem. Boy. You ain't stepping in Philly and motherfucking Georgia. Them ghettos in Georgia. Them wars in Texas. Talking about we coming through here and, 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 and y'all finna. It ain't gonna happen. It, like, never was, it, ne it never was going to happen because we always was better than them physically. That's why they get us legislated. Nah, but we was, nah. a little, we was a little more in those parts intimidating. And even to this day, hey, when I go back and see my people in the South, when I go back and see my people in the South, bro, it's, it's, it's still, it's history, bro. You know, they got decades and decades of history of what they did to this, 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 that. Out here on the West Coast, we ain't got that type of mentality. We don't give a fuck about none of that because we didn't come from none of that. It's still places, what y'all call it, you know, uh, daylight, what y'all call that shit? Y'all got these sundown, 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 sundown places. Y'all got these places where, bro, our, our people are still, they got them heads down, bro. They, they You know, it ain't there like that. But, so, hey, so it ain't, it ain't it ain't necessarily they got their heads down. What it is is the the white population is so strong in that area that if you have black people in that area, they're only there to work their job and they get the hell out. Out here, Beverly Hills is five to seven miles from the ghetto. I did six years in Texas Pen Penitentiary TD TDC, right? Uh -huh. And so I did while I was, while I was up there. I'm from VA. Well, brother Ben X up, please. Yeah, I'm back. Go ahead, brother. I'm back home now. I'm back home. I'm in VA, you know what I'm saying? And this is where the Confederacy started and shit. They got they got a fucking museum out here downtown up in my city where the, where they started the first motherfucking meeting about Robert E. Lee and all that shit. They got Confederate flags down our streets. I'll be seeing the bitch ready to set the bitches on fire, but I don't want to go back to jail. Then got uh -huh. down. Then got down. 
So so when I was in Texas, you got you got the wood pile because I'm in the penitentiary. I'm in TDC. I'm, I'm I'm in there. So I had fun. I'm inked up in some motion now. But uh, so when I went up in there, you had the woodpeckers. They called them niggas the wood pile. WP stand for white power. You had the white knights up in there. You had the the KKK up in there. And 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 you know I, when you it's different in that environment. You know how it is. Whack you in that you in that environment. Yeah you talk yeah to yeah yeah. Yeah, you talk to a motherfucker you'll never talk to, and you'll learn you'll learn something that you'll never learn. So yeah, but but what I wanted to touch on this this point, man, we real quick with the Jews, bro. Abraham left his family. I ain't I, ain't, I read the Bible, but I ain't on the Bible. But uh -huh. Abraham left his left his family. Then nobody believed in what he believed in, so he left from Egypt and went off to start his whole little little religion of monotheism. So when he did that, his mom, his dad, and all the people still believe in the same shit they were believing before that. And then when they went out there and he took a little group out there to start doing what it was they were doing, God supposedly told them people to go kill the camp. People around, how the hell is everybody from, how is everybody a Jew if we all from Africa? So if if they God was telling them to kill black people, black people, black, and they didn't kill them all, the Philistines, they weren't Jews. So how the hell is we all Jews? All I know is the white people gonna rape black people and went back up there, took that religion and made it for themselves and impoverished Africa and stripped it of all its goods and minerals and then brought us over here and taught us bullshit. That's all I know what happened.